Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hey everyone, it's me, Naga Souls Adventure. I hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. And as the title states, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to play PC Engine games slash Turbo Graphics games on your PlayStation Vita that is modded via using the latest build of RetroArch. With that being all out the way as well, we're going to go ahead and get started on today's prerequisites and any of the items or things I'll state and any, you know, products or not products, but any files I'll use will be in the link in the description down below. So first things first, you need a modded PlayStation Vita or a PS TV that's already hacked in some shape or form. So whether you're using the latest, you know, HR Core 2 exploit, HR Core, Hankaku from 3.60, or you're using Hankaku Enzo, or if you're still in 3.70 using Trinity, your device needs to, you know, at least run some unsigned code, and you could be able to run homebrew for this process. You also um, need the latest build of Vita Shell, as well, your system needs to be on 3.60 to 3.73 firmware. You also need the latest build of RetroArch. You also need a set of PC Engine or Turbo Graphic ROMs. I won't provide any links for that. You can just google um you'll also need a bios file as well which is going to be the syscard 3.pce this is going to allow us to have our better or basically this bios file is going to allow us to run our games better without having any issues running into uh you know retro arc since these are one of the required files that you need to have this with uh you know the turbo graphics emulator or the pc engine emulator itself um some two optional things depending on how you want to transfer your files today you either need to use files of the ftb client or you could use a USB charging cable. I always recommend using a USB charging cable since it's faster to, you know, transfer files that way. But, you know, sometimes I like to use files of the FTP client myself. But with all of that getting out the way as well, I just want to give a special thanks out to the RetroArch developers and all of the people who, you know, make these cores and emulators so we can play our favorite classic games on, you know, a ton of devices. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started on the PS Vita side of things. Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites in the intro, we're going to go ahead and get started on the PS Vita side of things. So first things first, what we need to go ahead and verify is your device is already modified. So I'm using Hankaku Enzo 3.60, so I'm assuming that you guys already have a modded PlayStation Vita or PS TV at this point. What we need to do is go ahead into Vita Shell. If you don't already have Vita Shell installed, I will have the VBK in the link in the description down below on how to get the latest build. But what we need to do now is just go ahead, hit start on our, basically on our PlayStation Vita. Go to our select button. If you're going to be transferring your files via with a USB cable, I recommend to go and hit the select button trial or basically toggle this to usb and then plug in your usb to your pc since i'm going to be using files of the ftb client and transferring my data wirelessly what i'm going to do is just go ahead and have my select button set to ftp but what we want to do now make sure your wi-fi is on for this process as well is hit the select button and then from here what we're going to do is just go to the pc and then type in our uh, ip address so we can transfer our files within files of the ftb client so leave our video on standby and let's go all right guys we're back onto the pc as showcased here there are some things we need to do before we get our files transferred over to our playstation vita so first things first we're going to go ahead and get started on this folder right here what you want to do is go ahead and create a new folder on your desktop just go ahead and create one by right clicking hit new make a new folder and you can just label it as turbo graphics games or pc engine games so right here i'm just gonna recycle this folder right here but as showcased here i made a you know direct folder for where i'm gonna put all of my games into since i'm gonna make this video kind of short i don't want to you know transfer a lot of games but as you see here i have one game that we're going to be testing today which is called wonder momo and this is how it should be so you should have your folder and all your ROMs into one direct area. So if I actually go minimize this out, go to my folder right here. And if I showcase here, if you're going to do multiple games, this is how it will look. So I named mine Turbo Graphics. Have all your games into one directory so it's more easier to find on your PlayStation Vita. And you could have all of them labeled into one category so you could be more organized. So assuming that you got your pre-made folder with all your ROMs into it. What we also need, and these two files will be in a link in the description down below. You also need a file called syscard3.pce. This is the BIOS file that is needed to run via within RetroArch. And here is the latest build of RetroArch itself, which is the 1.81 build, I believe, as 
as I'm recording this on those or excuse me November 7th 2019 so as long as you have these two files you have a folder with all your games into it we're basically ready to go for this process so what we need to do if you're using USB cable go ahead and just hit select on your device make sure that you transfer your files and you just follow the same directories as I am but since I'm using files of the FTP client let's go ahead and open it up if you don't already have a uh, Fazla FTP client on your uh, PC, I will have the EXE in the link in the description down below and you can just install it like anything normal. What we need to do now is go ahead and type in our PlayStation Vita's IP address. So that's what I'm doing here. And then for the port, just type into 1337. Your IP will be different than mine, but our ports will be the same. All we gotta do is hit quick connect. And now, as shown here, you should see all your, your directories into one area. What we want to do now is just go ahead, transfer over the RetroArc.VPK into your X0, aka your memory card. I'm going to go ahead and overwrite mine since mine is probably an older version of it. As well, what we're going to do is go ahead and transfer over the SysCard3.PCE file. And then in UX0, what we're going to do is go ahead and basically what I like to do, let me make this bigger so you guys can see is to create a folder if you already haven't already so just right click create a new directory and as showcased here the directory that i'm hovering over right now where it says retro arc underscore roms this is where i put all my games into one area so you could actually just have it in your ux0 or you could have it you know labeled on your memory card somewhere else but that's where i like to have all my games located so all you got to do is just type in retro arc roms as showcased here and then you could basically have that folder created so in my retro arc rom folder you can see that i have already my games into one area so if i go actually into my turbo graphics folder you can see that i have a bunch of games already transferred over it may take a little time to load since i have over i think about a thousand titles yeah so i showcased here here's all my pce games into one directory but since i just wanted to transfer over one game for this tutorial you're going to see here that I have one around transferring so as of right now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and cut the video um, come back once this is fully done and then we're gonna go to our PlayStation Vita and then get RetroArch set up for our PC engine emulator alrighty guys so I showcase here if I go to my successful transfers all of my games or basically all of the data that we just transferred from here has now successfully been on my PlayStation Vita so what we're gonna do now is go to the Vita and get this set up Alrighty now, so all of our files successfully transferred over, so we could go ahead and cancel out our FTP server as showcased here. So go ahead and hit circle on your Vita. Now what we need to do is go into UX0. From here, just go ahead and scroll where the RetroArc.VPK is at. And then just hit X to install this package. It may take a little while for um to do its thing. So if it takes too long, I may just cut the screen here. But once um RetroArch is fully installed, all we need to do first is just to run the program, and then we need to do some stuff into Vita Shell before we get you know playing our games. So it seems that it may be taking a little while. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here, and then come back once it's fully finished. Alrighty, so RetroArch has now successfully been installed onto my PlayStation Vita. What we want to do now is just verify going into UX0 that our games are now into our folder. So I, that's why I told you guys to make a RetroArch underscore ROMs folder. And now you can see here that Wonder Momo, the game we transferred, is now into its correct directory. Now what we need to do is just exit out of Vita Shell by hitting home and then exiting out. And then if I scroll all the way down here, you can see that my RetroArch is now on my system let's just go ahead and run it for one second and then once RetroArch has fully successfully been onto my PlayStation Vita what we're going to do is go ahead and back out for a second so back out and then I'm going to go ahead and scroll back into Vita Shell because we need to go ahead and put our BIOS file into the correct directory as well and this will be the last step so Let's go ahead and back out to our UX0 where it says syscard3.pce. All we gotta do is hit move. So hit triangle over your file, hit X, X again, scroll all the way to our data folder. Then from here where it says retro arc and you should have a folder called system. This is where all of our BIOS files should be located. If you don't have this system file in here, just go ahead and hit triangle, create a new folder by scrolling down right here 
and then just create a new folder and name it system in all lowercase. But from here, all we got to do is paste the file over. Since I already had it in here, that's why um, you saw it before. But yeah, now my syscard3.pc file is now in the RetroArch folder. Now we could go ahead and exit out. Now everything should be fine and we should be playing some PC Engine games on our PlayStation Vita in real time. I'm not going to include any audio for this since, you know, copyright issues and, you know, YouTube loves to copyright claim. But what we're going to do now is go ahead into RetroArch. First things first, we're going to go to Load Core scroll all the way down to our pc engine core so that i'm trying to find it right now let me scroll down so yeah it's called nec pc engine cd battle fast this is the engine that you want to have when you play pc engine game so hit circle on that your vita will go black for a second don't worry it's just you know changing uh basically the configuration so it could run that core so in the corner you can see that it's on 1.81 beetle fast emulation now what we're going to do is hit load content scroll all the way down to ux0 go to our retro arcs underscore roms folder go find our game of choice but this is wonder momo here press circle again on it and now the game should run as normal so let me just verify my audio is off and yeah here is the um basically the playstation vita running via pc engine games within retro arc so i'm just going to showcase some gameplay of it so let me take a little time for it to load. Just waiting for it to do its thing. So yeah, here's me moving the person back and forth. So yeah, this is how you run PC Engine games on your PlayStation Vita. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like. Please be sure to comment down below if you have any questions. If you have any questions as well, feel free to join my Discord. I will have that in the link in the description down below as showcased in the video as well. But yeah, this is how you run classic PC entry games. With that being said, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace